A little pressure never hurt anyone, unless you're trying to maintain possession of the ball. Here's what you need to know about pressure. It's a cornerstone of defending, applying pressure, and what it means is limiting an attacker's time and space. So how do we do that? To limit time, a defender needs to get to the ball as quickly as they can, and to limit space, they need to slow down, get low, and get close. Quick, slow, low, to limit where the attacker can go. This means trying to force the attacker in one direction or another, towards the touchline or towards a fellow defender to keep the attacker from passing the ball or getting around them. At this point, it's all about keeping the pressure on, hopefully forcing a mistake and a chance to win the ball, like that. Let's see that again. Quick to the ball, slow down, get low. A little pressure can go a long way. Defending is hard. That's why you need backup. Here's what you need to know about cover. When a defender applies pressure to the attacker with the ball, they don't always succeed. That's where cover comes in. Sometimes called the second defender, the defender providing cover is ready to step in if the pressure defender is beaten. Think of it as creating layers of defense to stop the ball. The cover defender should always be between the ball and the goal, and ideally positioned in such a way that they're close enough to stop the attacker, but far enough back that they can cut off a pass from the attacker to a teammate like that. Let's see that again. Cover the defender, block passing lanes, stop the attack. Now that's teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, especially when it comes to defending. Here's what you need to know about balance in defending. It's an attacker's dream and a defender's nightmare. An attacker gets past the pressure defender and the next defender who is providing cover. Luckily, there's still hope. That's where balance comes in. Defenders not close enough to pressure the ball or provide cover still serve an important function. They find positions further from the ball, guarding areas of the field to block passes to nearby attackers or those who run behind them. They're also prepared to jump in and apply new pressure if the ball comes their way, shifting into the pressure defender position while their teammates reposition themselves to provide new cover and balance. The idea is for defenders to respond fluidly to the movement of attackers and the ball as one cohesive unit. Let's see that again. Find your position, back up your teammates, stop the attack. A balanced defense, like a soccer symphony. This is how to do a poke tackle. The aim of any defender is to stop the attack, and this handy maneuver is one way to do it. The key is to approach the attacker, getting low and slow to apply pressure, then getting close enough to poke the ball away using the inside of the foot or the outside of the foot, like that. You can use the poke to slow down the attacker, force a mistake, or win possession altogether. If an attacker is shielding the ball, a stealthy poke from the side or back can be equally handy. Let's see that one more time. Get low, get close, make the poke. And just like that, you're off to the races. Life's all about give and take, but for now, let's focus on the take. This is how to do a block tackle. Here's the scenario, a loose ball and two opposing players arriving at the same time, often called a 50-50 ball. It's a frequent and sometimes daunting occurrence, but with practice, you can win the ball safely and effectively. The secret, the block tackle. It starts with having a strong base, Plant the front foot to the side of the ball with a bent knee for a low center of gravity. Then use the other foot to contact the center of the ball, like that, and follow through with some oomph. Let's see that one more time. Low approach, center of the ball, and follow through. And that's how you go from 50-50 to 100% in no time.